all we hear from the left is Trump, 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 and Trump would do this and Trump would do that. But this is on Biden, this this incredible disaster and his callousness about it. I mean, you know, we, we were talking about the fact that they've turned over names of Americans and uh, American allies to the Taliban, hoping they'll protect them. Right. And so this week, uh, Peter Ducey, the last reporter in America, asks Jen Psaki, well, does this mean that the U.S. is negotiating with terrorists now? And this is what Jen Psaki said. Hey, guys, let's talk gender, specifically Libra genders. Firstly, know the difference between a static or a stable gender, one that doesn't change, and a fluid gender, one that does change. Now, Libra genders. Libra gender people feel mostly a gender with a slight connection to another gender. All right. So <laughs> that wasn't Jen Psaki. That was the crazy uh, TikTok girl explaining Libra gender. Um, this is this is what Jen Psaki really uh, said uh, on this <laughs> on this question. Cut 17. Firstly, Libra feminine. And I do want you guys to keep in mind for the rest of the video that there is another black line down there. Feminine people feel mostly agender and slightly feminine. Describe it as feeling a strong connection to agender as, as well as a lesser connection to femininity. Okay, that, <laughs> that's, the, that's the crazy TikTok girl again, Jen Psaki. This is cut eight. Where masculine is the opposite, where someone feels mostly agender and slightly masculine. Described as having a strong connection to being genderless as well as a lesser connection to being masculine. <laughs> Uh, no, that that actually was the TikTok, crazy TikTok girl. Again, this is Jen Psaki. Uh, what is this? Cut 13. Lastly, we have Libra fluid. Libra fluid people feel mostly a gender with a slight connection to another gender that fluctuates throughout other genders. Stay with me here. They feel a strong connection to being a gender and another part of their gender feels fluid. One part will always feel agender, the other part will fluctuate between masculine and feminine. Hope that could help. <laughs> All right. That, that, I think that, was, that was, wasn't Jen Psaki, right? That was the TikTok girl again. There's a reason. There's a reason I'm kidding around about the crazy TikTok girl, okay, explaining Libra, Libra fluid gender. All right. I know this is a tragic day. I know this is a terrible moment in, in American history. Why am I making jokes about the TikTok girl is a reason. She is telling you the TikTok girl, not Jen Psaki. The Jen Psaki is just giving cover to Joe Biden and the Democrats. The TikTok girl is telling you something about Joe Biden's incredible indifference and his hard hardness and his snarky meanness about the absolute disaster that he alone is responsible for. Right. Because this is not a policy question. This is a competency question. He is responsible for this destruction of American lives and the destruction of American foreign policy. And the reason is there is no Democrat for foreign policy. The Democrats have never had a serious foreign policy. The TikTok girl is their policy, right? Putting a gay flag on the Kabul embassy in the midst of uh, this Islamic country where they're not, they don't believe what we believe to begin with about any of this. Putting, you know, having a general saying, oh, I'm studying critical race theory was very important. We've got to study white, the sources of white rage and having transgender soldiers that we pay for. That's the policy. That's why Nancy Pelosi made a speech recently where she, while this was going on, while while people are throwing their babies over the barbed wire, she said, oh, this is a proud, proud day for America and for Democrats. Well, what the hell was she talking about? What's so proud about watching people who you were trying to protect throwing their babies over barbed wire? It was that the House, Nancy, where Nancy Pelosi is the leader, the speaker, they appro approved a three point five trillion dollar blueprint of a budget that would pave the way for a vast expansion of the welfare state, right? There would be climate programs and they would be uh, just all kinds of new entitlements. They, they would have a government, uh, more government control over debt. Uh, there would be more debt, so there would be more government control, right? There'd be universal pre-kindergarten. That's great, right? Because now you'll have government teachers. Here's your new government teacher. Here she is. Uh, give me, yeah, give me the government teacher. Hey guys, let's talk gender, specifically Libra genders. So you'll have universal child care with this 3.5, it's supposed to be an infrastructure plan but yeah, and a budget plan. You'll have universal child care. So your mom doesn't have to be your mom anymore. She can go to work and the government will be your mom. Here's your new mom. Feminine people feel mostly agender and slightly feminine. <laughs> 
and and you'll be have paid family leave. And of course, you'll have two years of community college. So everybody will get to go to a community college with a government teacher. Here's your new professor. Where masculine is the opposite, where someone feels mostly agender and slightly masculine. So, and speaking of a lesser collection connection to being masculine, uh, they're lowering the age of Medicare in this new uh, in this new budget plan, which will pave the way to universal health plan. So you can have your penis cut off for free. Mm-hmm.